Hey Rob, where do you think you're going to be 25 years from now? Well, I want to be alive. That's certainly the first thing. I think, I mean, aging, um, I think we focus probably a little too much on, on just on young people. We don't focus enough and celebrate and recognize um, growing old and, and the fact that we also need to be looking after people who aren't aging terribly well. I mean, I happen to love these things, wrinkles. I mean, it means that I'm getting there. Um, and I think from, a, from an individual perspective then, um, rather than denying the fact that, that I'm getting old, that if I can be as physically active and healthy, um, even socially, you know, so I'm mixing with my friends, getting, giving them support, getting support from them, I think I can probably uh, age, age well. I mean, that, that sounds really good from an individual perspective. I suppose I was thinking bigger picture. Sure. Um, as more and more people are living past 85, like how are cities going to adjust to yeah. accommodate that? And how will public transport change or housing change? How are they going to afford to live to 100 plus? And I was just thinking about those kinds of issues and um, just living long enough to actually meet your grandchildren and great-grandchildren yeah, and how yeah. that perspective is going to change how we value older people. Sure. I mean, I guess as a society, we, we're probably in denial. We, you know, we're thinking, well, ageing, getting old only happens to other people. Um, and I certainly know from you know, my own baby boomer group that there's a huge numbers of us. You know, there's a huge challenges out there for a society, for all those people that are, that are ageing. I mean, how are we going to do it? These types of questions, discussions, and forward thinking are what we will cover in Rethinking Aging. Come join the conversation.